the standard binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on plus cn times x raised to the power n. Now replace x with minus x in this expression. We get 1 minus x raised to the power n is equal to c0 minus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on. The last term is minus raised to the power n times cn times x raised to the power n. Let's call this result 1. Now we know that the binomial expansion of 1 minus x raised to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus and so on plus x raised to the power n plus and so on. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x. The derivative of the left hand side is equal to minus of 1 minus x raised to the power minus 2 times minus 1. And the derivative of the right hand side is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus and so on plus n times x raised to the power n minus 1 plus n plus 1 times x raised to the power n plus and so on. Now replace x with 1 upon x in this expression. We get 1 minus 1 upon x raised to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 upon x plus 3 upon x square plus and so on plus n upon x raised to the power n minus 1 plus n plus 1 divided by x raised to the power n plus and so on. Let's call this result 2. Now multiplying results 1 and 2, on the left hand side we get 1 minus x whole raised to the power n times 1 minus 1 upon x raised to the power minus 2 and the right hand side is equal to c0 minus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on plus minus raised to the power n times cn times x raised to the power n times, in brackets, 1 plus 2 upon x plus 3 upon x square plus and so on plus n plus 1 upon x raised to the power n plus and so on. Now on the right hand side, the coefficient of the constant term is obtained by multiplying the first term in the first bracket with the first term in the second bracket resulting in c0 plus multiplying the second term in the second bracket with the second term in the second bracket resulting in minus 2c1 plus multiplying the third term in the first bracket with the third term in the second bracket resulting in plus 3c2 minus and so on and the last term is minus raised power n times n plus 1 times cn. Now the left hand side is equal to 1 minus x whole raised to the power n times 1 minus 1 upon x raised to the power minus 2 which can be written as x minus 1 upon x raised to the power minus 2. This is equal to 1 minus x raised to the power n times x upon x minus 1 whole square which is equal to x squared times 1 minus x raised to the power n divided by 1 minus x whole square. And therefore, the left hand side is equal to x squared times in brackets 1 minus x whole raised to the power n minus 2. Now, the coefficient of the constant term in the expansion of the left hand side is equal to 0 because all terms are multiplied with x square and will therefore involve x square or higher powers of x. Equating the constant terms across the left hand side and the right hand side, we get c0 minus 2c1 plus 3c2 minus and so on plus minus raised power n times n plus 1 times cn is equal to 0 which is the required result.